Hey everybody, welcome to a new video. So I just created this patch which basically allows us to have multiple videos on a single video plane. We got multiple videos loaded with the JitMovie object which all go inside a single GGL Pix, comes out a single texture and we get the four videos, in this case it's four videos, on our uh, rendering window on a single video plane. Oh, we could actually just attach this to the input of the JIT world. This will work exactly the same. So uh, the cool thing about this patch is that uh, basically the video maintains the correct proportions. So as you can see, these videos here have a proportion of four on three, and uh, these videos are actually full HD, this buff here at the end. So they maintain the correct proportions. They are showed uh, keeping their ratio correct. So for example, if we load a new video, let's try that. Exactly, you can see that this also keeps his ratio. Good, so let's see how this actually works. So let's take a look at the patch. First I got uh, four JIT movie objects which have output texture, they, throw, they draw to my context which is called game. Got automatic ones so they always uh, play and they load some movie files, volume is zero. And then there is simply, uh, we simply trigger the message get dim whenever we read or load a movie. So. So this is just to trigger the message get dim, and then the dimensions of the movies are sent to some receivers using the send and receive, and these are actually some um, parameters inside the GGLPix object. So let's actually rebuild the algorithm from scratch and see how this actually works. So let's actually delete uh, the part that contains the algorithm and let's do it from scratch. Now, if we just take input uh, one and we just display it on the window, then we can see that uh, uh, the window is filled with our movie. But, uh, in the moment in which we resize the window, so if the window proportions are not exactly the same proportions as the video, then the video is actually distorted, right? It gets very squeezed, and so on. Also, if the window has proportions of um, one on one, so the width is the same as the height, actually, uh, we see that the video is already distorted. It's not keeping the correct proportions. Let's actually load another video, full HD video, so we have a better understanding of that. Right, we can see that the video is clearly incorrectly placed. So, we, in order to um, remap this video inside our video plane, so in a way that it has the correct proportions, oh, and it looks like my computer is going a bit crazy, a bit glitchy, that's very worrying, but for the moment let's not worry about it. So, uh, this is something that we already did actually in uh, our videos on how to work with textures, but we will do this thing again here. So we're going to use the nearest object, which uh, simply samples the video without interpolation, using normalized coordinates. So if you will just use this using the normalized coordinates as they are, we will exactly get the same output, simply the video as output, but still with incorrect proportions. Now, let's go back to use the first video, video 1. So, when we say get dimensions, this para movie one dimension is actually the dimension of the first movie. So the dimensions of the movie we, of the guy with the ball, which are actually 320 by 240. And now we can do something like that. We can actually get the ratio of this video, so basically the x divided by the y. So we can do something like that. We can actually use an expression and do like this, in 1.x divided in 1.y. Oops, made a mistake. My computer... The screen is a bit glitchy at the moment. Maybe it's because of the recording software. Sorry about that. And then we can actually do something like that. We can switch the X component of the normalized coordinates. Switch the Y component of the normalized coordinates. And we can simply pass the X as it is because the width of this video is not going to change. Only the height is going to change. So we switch the y and then we multiply the y by the ratio of our video and then we connect it here good uh, now if our window will be of uh, proportions one on one for example 500 by 500 we can actually see that the video here this video up here has the correct proportions is actually displaying correctly. This video has proportions of 4 on 3 and is displaying exactly as 4 part of width by 3 part of height. Great. 
So why is this working? Now we can see here, if we have a window with dimensions 400, 300, so uh, the same ratio of the video, we can see that the um, x divided by the y is this value here, 1.333. If we multiply the y by this value, so 1.333, we will actually have that the y doesn't go anymore between 0 and 1 from the start of the window to the bottom, it will go between 0 and 1.333, but the video is only sampled between 0 and 1. That's why the last part is actually repeated by the nearest object, it interprets everything above 1 as to start again from 0. So in the end, we will arrive to 0 0.333. So that's why um, if we go with, with size of the window 500 by 500, we are now the y coordinates, we would, would normally go between 0 and 1 all the way to the end of the window, now go between 0 and uh, 1.333. And this is why we get the correct proportions for the video. But let's get rid now of the repetition of the video and let's move our video in the center. So basically like a movie player will always have like some black bands on the top and the bottom uh, in order to maintain the correct proportions of the video, like we'll see media player for example. So what we need to do is to subtract 1 to the ratio of the movie. Which means, what is the difference between 1, so the normal coordinates, so the coordinates that sample the whole video, and what is uh, uh, remaining from the, um, from the ratio of the video. So in this case it's going to be 0 0.3333. Great. We divide this by 2, because we have to subtract a bit above and a bit below, something like that, and then we subtract this quantity to the y coordinates in order to bring it down exactly. So we have brought it down exactly of half of the remaining uh, uh, space between the video and the rest of the window ratio. So now we just have to multiply whatever comes out of here. We need to multiply that to 1 or 0 according if the y coordinates are greater than 1 or less than 0. So let's create another expression. And let's say input one. I have to do this blindly because somehow the, my computer is hiding the stuff from me. It's a bit inconvenient, really. Uh, so actually, this will be if this is greater or equal to zero, and input one, I cannot see anything, <laughs> it's really annoying, is less than one. So if both these conditions are true, then it will give us a one, otherwise, it will give us a zero. Great. So we're multiplying this by 1 when the coordinates go between 0 and 1, so they actually sample our video, and 0 uh, if the coordinates go above 1 or below 0. Great. So now it's correct if the window proportions are 1 on 1, but it's actually wrong for every other size of the window because we are not taking into consideration the actual proportions of the windows, of the window. So, okay, now it's correct if the window will be a square, but not if the window is something else than a square. So what we need to do now is to take into consideration the size of the window. Oh, and uh, I forgot to mention, which is actually pretty important, that the dimensions of our input texture are the same dimensions of the window. Okay, so we are basically not wasting pixels. Our video is covering always... Uh, our texture is going to be the same size as our rendering window. So if we now take the dimension object, it's actually going to contain the dimensions of the window because the input texture is the same dimensions of the window. Great. Uh, so in this case, we actually don't want to divide the x by the y. We want to divide the y by the x. We want to divide the y by the x because if we divide the y by the x, so it's basically the same as taking 1 divided by whatever comes in. And we have, for example, a window with a ratio 4 on 3, with size 400 by 300. We can see that if we divide, um, if we get 1 divided by this, or it's the same as making y divided by, divided by x, we can see that we get a number which is actually less than 1. So once we have this number, which is how many times the y fits inside the x, we actually need to multiply that by our y coordinates in order to have it correctly. Exactly now it's correctly proportioned also to the size of the window. 
So even if we modify our window dimensions, now the video is always going to maintain the correct proportions, because the Y is remapped, let's say, uh, to fill the wall window vertically. And now we just need to do the same thing as we did for the for the movie, we just basically need to get uh, what remains if we subtract 1 to the ratio, and this is what we have to subtract to the coordinates in order to center the video, as we did for the movie. Right, so now it's centered. Great, and our video is always going to fit to the width of the window perfectly. Great. So, that's basically it. I created a little uh, grid here to show you how the, pro the, the proportions of the window remain correct if we multiply uh, the y by dimension y of the window divided by dimension x. We can see that the squares always remain square. And if we don't do that, we can clearly see that the squares are deformed unless the proportions are one on one. So, this clearly shows that this works. So, uh, now we just need to uh, have four of this video, one next to each other. So, let's do the same thing. We can actually do the same thing. Let's actually create uh, an abstraction from that. So, a sub patch from that. So, I could say this is video one. Exactly. Still works. And let's basically copy that. Let's connect video two to that. Uh, uh, the dimensions of video two here. Then we sum these to um, our output, and you can see that they, of course, they overlap because we actually need to multiply, in this case, the x coordinates of this video by 2. Exactly. But also the y coordinates by 2. So in this way, we basically double the. Let me actually delete this. So we are bit more clear. Exactly. If we multiply the x-coordinates by 2, we double the, the video, because it's reading between 0 and 1, and then starting again from 0 and going again to 1, because now the coordinates go from 0 to 2. Now we need to do the same thing for the y, but now, as you can see, it's not anymore centered, because we actually need to subtract to that 1 in order to to bring it again to the center, because now the coordinates go between 0 and 2, but actually not 1, because the coordinates now must start between uh, minus 0 0.5 and, and 0 0.5, so we actually need to start at minus 0 0.5, exactly. So now, basically, uh, the coordinates were going between uh, a minus ratio of the video, multiplied by ratio of the window, and so on, we multiply this whole thing by 2, we simply um, bring this back uh, of 0 0.5. If you subtract just 0, it's a, is a, is too much up, as we saw before. If we subtract half of the actual coordinates needed to sample the whole video, and we can see that it's actually centered. So, great. And we now need to do the same thing for the x, x coordinates also, because uh, otherwise we are going to see double this movie, which is going to sum to the second movie, so we need to check also when the y coordinates are greater than 1 and less than 0. Okay, great. And now we can sum the second movie to that. Let's actually copy this thing that we already modified, so it's already ready for us. And let's modify this by simply, so it's still multiplied by 2, but we now need to subtract an offset to that of 1 in order to bring this second video to the right. And there it is. Remember also that this must be then going to this expression uh, to multiply the output. Great! So we got our two videos, and we could do this uh, for the for in order to have three videos, in order to have four videos, and if we have a video now that is full HD and on the second input, you can see that this will be automatically set to the correct proportions. Then we can have four videos and so on, we just need to always uh, subtract the one more here, multiply this, for example, by the number of videos. It's actually a little abstraction that we can do on this to automate this uh, process. So, for example, if we have new movies equal to two, a parameter, let's say, we go here, we say multiply this by new movies, which is the number of movies we want to have, multiply also that, uh, and then here it will be num movies divided by two minus... 0.5 and you, if you just want to have more movies then you just have to for example this would be one movie and if you want to have this working also on the second video you just need to copy what we did here and put the same exact values 
you know, the second gen. I leave this to you as an exercise. Great, so um, thank you very much for watching. I hope this was useful, not too confusing. The patch is available as a download from my Patreon and will be available uh, one week after the video is on YouTube for everybody that is not a Patreon of mine yet. So thank you again very much for following and see you soon in the next video. Ciao.